I'm going to show you how to replace the voltage regulator on a 2013 Polaris Sportsman 400 HO. The procedure should be the same for the 500. I've been told that the only difference between the 400 and the 500 is a different size engine. Other than that, they're identical, but before you take on this procedure, um, you might want to verify that. Voltage regulator, part number 4012192. This is what it looks like. This is the old one, actually. Now, I did purchase a cheap knockoff from Amazon a couple weeks ago. Hooked it up, connected the battery, and it started smoking. So that one went back, and I went ahead and ordered the one from Polaris. It's $190. If you can find one a little bit cheaper, that'd be great. If it's a lot cheaper than that, it's probably a cheap imitation. I wouldn't do that. I use this on the ranch, and if it breaks down, no big deal. But if you're out fishing, hunting, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, you're not going to want that cheap part. In your vehicle that's just crazy so step one disconnect the battery now, the voltage regulator is right underneath this plastic cowl pretty easy to get to now I'll show you there's four bolts holding it down here here, there, and over there. I've already removed those. And take those off. And those are actually a T25 bolt. Let me show you what that looks like. It's a little star shape. So you're gonna have to get you one of those bits to take that off. Next thing you wanna do is remove this gasket that seals the cover for the storage compartment. It just lays in there, just remove that. And then you can remove this as one piece. If you wanna grab that and pull it out. This part up here, I've already unsnapped, it has a couple snaps, it just pulls out. Set that aside. And there's the voltage regulator hiding up in there. There's two bolts. One on each side. You can see the one right here. That's a T20. And there's one over here on this side. Not too hard to get to. Take those out. There's three wires to connect. Right here, right there, and right there. These three. Unsnap those, plug in the new one. Put the bolts in and you're ready to go. That's all it takes. Uh, my old one, the uh, battery icon was flashing on the instrument cluster and I checked the battery. The battery's okay. Kind of ignored it for a while. Turns out it was overcharging and it uh, fried my battery. Not a good idea. So if you see that battery icon, you want to check your battery. And then check the uh, voltage regulator by putting the voltage meter on the battery while it's running. And if it's not around 14.2, 14.5 volts, uh, there's something wrong with it. This one was jumping between 10 and 17. Most of the time it was around 17. That's what fried the, uh, the battery on this. Also, I added this little voltmeter here so I can keep an eye on the status of the battery at all times anyway that's how you do it it's pretty simple you put it put it back together just go the opposite direction and don't forget to reconnect your battery that's it pretty straightforward bye